Okay, so we're getting a lot of questions in the chat. Um, just a few that I uh, will follow up with now. So Stuart Ralph Ralphson has asked, what about indie designers? I would like to submit, but I'm a team of me. Okay, so one of the things that we were going to, that I was going to go through later was actually through the use of Unity Connect to recruit a team. If you did just want to submit as yourself as one person, that's absolutely fine. But actually, there's no limit to team size for this competition. So if you are on Connect and you're like, I want this person, this person, this person, you can actually find them, reach out to them and potentially collaborate. So whether you want to work as a team or by yourself, that's absolutely fine. Just again, if you are as a team, everyone needs a Connect profile that's 80% done and you all have to be over 18. Petra Sofa asks, so the end result after the competition will be a kind of AAA release or close to that? Yes, you are absolutely right. Um, and again, that's where I'm going to talk a little bit about Intel later. They're really, they're really wanting to alleviate the best out of this competition in terms of high-end graphics and performance. So for the G, uh, Tommy Yoda, I, and I apologise if I say anyone's name wrong, I'm really sorry. Um, for the game's design document, can we show artwork for the game being created for the contest? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, please do include that. And actually, something that I should mention is that for the first submission, we want the games design document and the uh, pitch video, but you can actually submit an appendix of supplementary information. So you can submit images, um, sort of early prototypes if you have them, you can submit all of that. It's not, we won't like discount that. Alan has asked, how much do we have to stick to the film story and the character? I'm going to go into all the things to do with the IP a little bit later on. Um, it is a commonly asked question and so um, I will get to that. So thanks for your patience, everybody. Oscar asks, my team or studio is related or partnered with a school. Some of the members are working at the school and the dev studio at the same time. Does this mean a restriction for us to participate? Um, Oscar, I genuinely need to check that. Unless Lydia is in the chat and knows the answer. <laughs> uh, Lydia is our uh, partner marketing manager and she is a whiz on the Universal Game Dev Challenge. I will review the chat at the end and try my best to get those the answers to the questions to you. Uh, Ram Kumar asks, how many members are allowed in the team? Is there a maximum or minimum? Um, there is no maximum, actually. Uh, there is no cap. Roll free. Dream team. So... So yes, as you just saw in the video, that was our partners talking more about the competition. Everyone is super excited about it. Everybody wants to see this be a success. We want this as much as you do. So we're all very excited. So I just wanted to talk a bit more about what Intel, Microsoft and ourselves can do to help you. So I, I keep going on about using sort of Intel architecture and, and Intel. Intel are our partners on this and they have something called the Game Dev Program. And this isn't just restricted to this Universal Game Dev Challenge. It's a program that they have to enable developers to really make the most out of their architecture and get the best out of their game performance. And so what you can do is you can apply uh, for this anyway, but actually what we're hoping is that the submission for the Universal Game Dev Challenge that the finalists run their games through this games development program. And so they have access from Intel to be able to optimize the performance of their, of their games um, as they're given access to a lot of software um, and tools and given sort of guidance on how best to use them. And also there is an opportunity for socializing and networking. So there's actually an opportunity to have outreach with your game, uh, to meet people that you might not have met before and to show your game to these to, th to these people. And I think one of the most exciting things about this competition is such is the big gap, closing that gap and that bridge to industry. The fact that mentoring from big titans like Universal, Intel, Microsoft, Unity is going to be available. It's really exciting. Um, so yeah, um, just in general, please check out the Intel Game Dev program. It's cool.